Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready for some mo Monday motivation? Definitely uh, looking for some today, do you know? Ready to give them another week ago. I must admit, do you know, last week, probably felt the worst I felt throughout the restrictions about what's potentially happening going forward, the lockdown, do you know? I wasn't sure why, but I had a conversation today, racking my brains early on and then having a conversation with Kay. Do you know, I think it's probably down to the fact that as a nation, we're starting to look towards Christmas, the new year, do you know, the potential of being able to see family, but then extended restrictions, do you know, and all these things make it very real, don't, don't they? Do you know, and whilst it is very real, there's no doubt about that, do you know, one thing I've been trying to do is uh, sort of work off the things I do daily, do you know, one thing at a time, I've mentioned this a lot, not, not to look too far ahead. And I just feel my anxieties build a little bit when when we're told this will be going on into the spring, this will be going on into next year, this will last that long. Do you know? So what I've got to do is get my head back into everything, get on top of it. And I'm feeling great again, do you know, in terms of all the activity, managed to get out of the weekend, do you know, got lots of walking and running in. Do you know, I, I got along to one of my favourite places. The task, of course, for the Saturday selfie was go to your happy place, you know, do your activity in your happy place. So I got along to Colic Park, absolutely love that. Managed to run the park run route, managed to do quite well. Do you know, all, all small wins that pick, pick me up. And then yesterday, got out for a 10 mile run, really, really enjoyed that. Whilst it was a bit, bit of a battle, trying to just pick that distance up again, trying to get back on top of things. Got a mini target to achieve by the end of the year. Want to run another half marathon and do it slightly better than one in September. So it was really important for me to get out of that, but equally as important, it was important for me to get out in the daylight. And as you can see, I'm out again now for a walk and I'll be out again later for a run. So it's just important to keep doing this, keep using it to its absolute maximum potential because it does the trick for me. It does the trick for those getting involved. Do you know, it's really important to attack a brand new week. Never miss a Monday. Already seen a couple of posts, people been out first thing this morning, got in decent efforts, you know, and that's really inspiring to see, really gets me thinking I need to get out and do mine, you know, it's so important, isn't it? Never to miss a Monday. When we're feeling a bit, when we're feeling a bit, well, when we're not on top of things, it's really important to get out there and um, give it a real go, you know, like get back in the moment, do the things you enjoy and really attack it. If you can get out today, it's absolutely fantastic, do you know? You'll feel fantastic going forward. I did mention yesterday on my own social media, do you know, whilst I talk a lot about never missing a Monday and the importance of that, it's um, it's also important to finish strong, do you know? That's what I felt yesterday. I felt I finished the week strong, which already set me in good frame of mind for today. So it's not just a case of using a Monday. I think what I do with the Monday is just use that as my sort of one reminder a week that it's time to go again. I always talk about not wanting to sort of live to conformity and, and, and do the things, but it's a perfect place to start, isn't it? Do you know, generally that's how we see things Monday is the start of the week. But by getting out yesterday, I felt like I'd finished really strong. I felt like I was ready to go again, do you know? And I'd, I'd really sort of saw it through to the, seen it through to the end. I'd really got to the end of the week, do you know, a tough week. Like I said, I got to the end of a tough week and I was still doing the things I did. So for all that sort of feeling of not, not feeling great about what's happening, do you know, feeling great personally, feeling like I'm doing all the things I can do to give it a real go. And that's important, isn't it? It's about getting out there, giving it a real go. So if you can get out today, do you know, of course, by the time this goes out, it'll be dark, but there's still the opportunity to get get involved in some sort of activity, whether it's a walk. After the video this evening, I'm going for a run with a friend we've arranged to meet, do you know? And that's the perfect opportunity, isn't it? Making myself accountable, that person's accountable, so we're going to do it, do you know? And whilst it's dark, we'll quickly forget about that because it'll be nice just to meet up and chat and catch up. Of course, within the restrictions, but it'll be great to do as well. Every week at this time, what I like to do is run down what we've got on offer, what we've got on offer through Do Daily, and uh, 
what we can do to sort of fend this off day by day as the week goes on. And with this looming announcement this evening and not knowing what's going to happen, it's vitally important just to use it as much or as little as you want. Do you know, if you're feeling on top of things, you might not use it as, as much. If you're not feeling great, throw yourself into it, get involved. Don't just wish that things were different, make them different, make them different for yourself. And all, we, all we're doing is trying to offer a platform for you to be able to do different things, do you know, to take your mind off the situation, to stay healthy and active, do you know, and to stay really positive. And if we can do those, whatever's announced, how, however long it goes on, we'll get through it. That all starts tomorrow with the Do One In City Slickers Solidarity Session. Fantastic way of getting involved. It's just getting out there at 6.30 p.m., you know, straight after the Tuesday training episode, getting in some sort of activity, absolutely your choice. Cycling, running, walking, sit-ups at home, you know, just knowing other people are doing it at the same time. Based around the group we'd run in Nottingham at the same time, you know, where it's all friendly and it, people support each other. That's all we're trying to do there is just offer that motivation and inspiration to support each other to sort of get the activity going get up and running for the week and give it a real go on wednesday we've got the wednesday workout challenge that's brought to you through do one in trent bridge do you know a really social group where we try and do different things do you know work off a great spirit that's been created like i say a real social environment in normal times so try and make that either competitive slightly competitive we don't uh we pride ourselves on the fact that we're not that competitive here, only with ourselves. Um, it could be competitive, it could be teamwork, it could be uh, working as a as a full team, you know, as a whole group to try and achieve something. Last couple of weeks, we've based that around steps and trying to hit targets. Last week, beating the week before, you know, just those little things that that get you thinking, that get you get you out for some exercise, you know, when. When motivation is floundering, you know, midweek as as things start building up around us, work, life, everything else, you know, it it can be vital to get that dose of midweek motivation. So that's what that's all about. It's just about offering something that little bit different, taking your mind away from everything that's going on and getting out there, being part of another amazing group. On Thursday, we've got Thursday Thoughts. Your chance to ask me questions, you know, get involved in a slightly different way. Of course, I'm still encouraging activity, but I come live at six o'clock, you know, and I'll answer anything you've got to throw at me with my opinion. I might do a bit of research, nothing major, just little bits of information to pass on, you know. And there might be lots of questions come off this latest set of announcements, what I've said in terms of how I felt last week. Do you know, absolutely brilliant sessions, great to be involved in, you know, I ask people for input. Of course, last week I asked, what was your happy place? And my run at the weekend, you know, and my happy place at Colic Park was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed that and I really enjoyed seeing what other people do and an amazing Saturday selfie, you know, absolutely brilliant to see all the pictures posted, created a great story and lots of people doing really good things, you know, lots of running, walking, cycling. You know, one guy did a marathon, absolutely brilliant. Just just a random marathon, no virtual event, no medal, no no t-shirt, just went out there and ploughed through the streets. So that's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? And what, what inspiration that is to people who are looking in, um, perhaps struggling for a little bit of uh, training motivation or getting around to doing those kind of things. So that's all we're trying to do through, through those things. Do you know, it's just, just inspire and motivate people to to really get out there, really give it a go. Of course, on Friday, I wake up to walk. Do you know, I always try to get somewhere different. It's getting colder. It's getting a bit, a bit more difficult with the, uh, the fact it's getting darker that little, uh, lighter, sorry, that little bit later. But I love getting out there, love attacking the day. I'm just trying to sort of let people know the benefits and, and how it can make such a difference to to your outlook, to, it, it does to mind, you know, I, I plan for the weekend, I use the time to, to look forward. And again, mentioning what I did at the weekend, I, I planned all that stuff in, I th thought about what I was gonna do. I well, went out and did it, really achieved it. And that was by taking some time over Thursday evening after Thursday thoughts, 
and Friday morning when I was out on my own, sort of in the fresh air, you know, feeling like I own the place almost, you know. It, it feels fantastic to be out there at that time and I get so much from it. So if you can get involved in any of that, do you know, absolutely fantastic. There's different ways to get involved. All we're trying to be is a safe space, do you know, somewhere to look in, somewhere to carry on taking part. I've had some great conversations about the things we've been doing during lockdown. There's more to come this week that will all become clear, do you know, and I've got some big announcements on the horizon. So lots and lots to look forward to and so much to look forward to. I can't let any of that stuff get me down, do you know. In many ways, I feel lockdown's been the making of do running and do daily. Do you know, we, we're still finding ways to keep the community together. Do you know, in the toughest of times and the toughest of situations, we're giving it a real go. We're getting out there. We're doing our thing. We're doing the things we love. And lots of people are getting so much from it. Of course, I still, I still see those who are struggling a little bit. And it, I feel... What we do here, do you know, in terms of consistency and keep offering the same things, eventually it will help those, do you know, but it's that point I made, isn't it? If you, if you want something to change, you've got to make it change. Do you know, we've all got that within us. We've all got that sort of capability. Do you know, when you start sort of dwelling on the situation, which I've been really good at, but last week, like I say, when it feels like it's it's going to go on too far in the future, it's really hard for anybody to deal with you know so i completely understand that it's not easy but if you can get involved come on guys give it a go you know like i say keep looking in at what other people are doing there's nothing nothing wrong with sort of appreciating that you know accepting it accepting different things might work going forward and that's all we're trying to be is a different platform to keep going to keep giving it a real go you know and just stay stay positive do you know all all of that on top of the fact you get the chance to stay active healthy do you know and reaping all those obvious benefits do you know once i've got this uploaded got home sat down for a bit i'll be feeling fantastic again i'll go out for my run with my friend do you know and then once i've done that it'll be like i'm fully back into it do you know whatever happened last week I'll be fully back into it. I'll, I'll be forgetting everything that's going on around me. Do you know? And it's important for me to focus on this. Focus on me. I can't control a lot of that around me. I speak about this a lot of the time. Do you know? There's, there's times I'll say things like, switch off a little bit from the news. Of course, on a big announcement day, we're all going to check in. But I actually seen something over the weekend that suggests... For every three minutes we watch the news, we're 25% more likely to have a bad day, do you know? And that, that that's a crazy stat. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I know when I get involved in that kind of thing, I touched on last week, I touched on the fact that sometimes when I'm not feeling fantastic, I tend to come away from Twitter. Do you know, it's constant news, it's constant comments, constant uh, opinion. And of course, I'm trying to give mine here, but we're trying to be positive as well, do you know? And a lot of that can be negative. A lot of it can pull you down. So sometimes it's just about keeping away from it, do you know, doing the things you can control. And this is definitely something you can control. Get out there. Never miss a Monday. Give it a real go. I'll be back tomorrow for Tuesday training and giving that a real big effort. Do you know, hopefully you guys can join me. We can get loads involved, do you know? Get all those pictures posted, share them across the story, do you know, and really hit this week like we mean to go on. Do you know, whether it's whether lockdown's on us for another week, month, year, we'll still be here passing on that positive message. So don't forget, guys, just doing it.